Hey, good evening, y'all. Uh, my name is Brian. In case you're new to my channel or my Facebook, which you shouldn't subscribe. Uh, usually, most of my stuff is about flying gyroplanes, uh, the airplane, or my recent thing uh, with the kegerator. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, scroll down and check out the video. Uh, built a kegerator recently. In fact, tonight I'm drinking uh, a Meguiar's Red. It's a local brew. Um, it's pretty delicious. Okay, so reason I'm making this video tonight, um, and I'm outside, so if you see a huge moth or something fly in front of the camera, I'm not being taken over or anything. Uh, just out here barbecuing some chicken. I'm sitting here smoking a cigar. I thought I'd do a quick review. I watch a lot of reviews on uh, cigars. I uh, got into cigars a couple of years ago with my brother-in-law, Jake. Um, uh, it was about the time where uh, I was having my second kid. Uh, Kim had Eva, and so we had some uh, cigars out there to kind of celebrate. And so he and I got into... Um, started looking around at cigars. So we went over to Cordova Cigars in Pensacola and uh, started fishing around in their humidor and asking questions and so uh, they kind of pulled us in and led us by the hand and uh, taught us a, a little of uh, what I currently know now. Uh, there's a lot of other good and better stuff on the internet uh, on YouTube so by all means I'm not an authority of cigars or anything like that. Um, uh, so I'm going to just kind of push a little of my opinion your way and tell me if you like it and uh, and then we'll kind of just go from there. So anyway, tonight I'm smoking a Baccarat. I've been smoking these for uh, since the beginning. Um, this is one of the first that they uh, introduced to me and I've kind of just latched onto it ever since. I think Jake stuck with uh, some some darker oiler, oilier uh, types of cigars, but uh, this has been uh, pretty consistent for me uh, as far as my taste. Anywho, um, the Baccarat, let me see if we can get in on that. Uh, there's two uh, styles that Baccarat makes that, that I understand. The one is the yellow with the yellow band here. There's another one with the red. I don't care for the red. It's a little bit more harsh, more peppery, etc. Um, but this is the one that I go with. You can find this at any local cigar um, retail shop. Um, they're relatively cheap. Uh, I don't mean like, uh, I'm talking about as far as cost. Um, uh, my opinion is uh, if you can find a good cheap cigar that's consistent in flavor and, and you like it, go with it. You know, uh, your flavor or your taste is, you know, up to you. So, anyway, this is what I have going on with this. If, as you can see, I'm about uh, an inch into the first third of the, uh, of the cigar. Um, the burn lines are pretty darn sharp. Uh, the construction of it, I'll talk a little bit about that. As you can see, it's a little veiny on the wrap. It's got a triple cap up top. And I've, uh, uh, I use a plugger here. I don't use a cutter, don't care for those because they're inconsistent every time. So this is a uh, vector uh, plugger. What you do is you just push this in, you stab it right there, and then you pop it out. So, uh, and then you get that every time. And that's all you need. And what I'm doing to toast the tip, I use a flameless uh, Zycar lighter. And uh, what I'm doing is just kind of rotating this around here and uh, toasting the tip and uh, getting that uh, a good even start on the cigar. Um, okay, more on the construction, back to that. Uh, it's moderate sponge uh, and at the tip it's pretty, uh, it's pretty tight. The draw in itself is uh, medium, light to medium. And it's not tough at all and it stays that way through the whole, uh, whole cigar. What I do like about this, this this particular uh, size, it's about a 30 to 45 minute cigar, um, and it burns all the way through, just like what you're seeing right now. Uh, produces a lot of smoke, and the flavor is consistent all the way down to even just past the band, for me. 
Um, and, and I'll give you a kind of a show of what the smoke is looking like. It uh, um, produces a lot of smoke. <clears throat> okay, so let me talk about kind of what I'm tasting here. Other than the beer. Um, as you can see, the first inch fell off. Let's talk about that real quick since that's kind of important to me too. Um, notice it fell off real smooth. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is I'm not left with a hot tip like a peak ember and I'm not uh, burning a core inside. So uh, it, it what you, about a, a quarter of an inch as far as uh, what I guess what you would uh, other smokers may call a cherry or something like that. Uh, but basically your ember is uh, consistent all the way through. Um, and I like that. You're not left with some funky crap. Um, so the filler Let's talk about that a little bit as well, since we're talking about the uh, uh, how this is burning. Um, the filler, my understanding, is Nicaraguan, and the wrapper is Honduran. And I may have that completely backwards, uh, but my understanding about most cigars is your filler and your wrapper are generally probably going to come from separate countries um, or separate uh, areas. And so, but I know for a fact this is Nicaraguan and Honduran. Um, okay, so back to the flavors. As you're taking your draw, you're going to immediately get some uh, some caramel, <clears throat> a little leather, a hint of tobacco flavor, um, and a little floral, just a little bit, uh, and I'm not, I drink uh, single malt scotch, uh, like a Glen Morangy, where you're immediately noticing a floral tone, uh, this is probably half when I'm talking about floral note, I mean it's like very, very subtle, um, but it's in there, and some, a, a little bit of pepper, but it only sticks around five seconds or so. Uh, another neat thing about this cigar is there's not that after taste, after flavor kind of funk, you know, where you're having to uh, take a couple of draws and then go with your drink. Take a couple of draws, uh, go with your drink. And uh, so that's what I like about this. It's mild to moderate, uh, depending on how you're taking your draws. As you can see with mine, relatively conservative. Uh, get a smoke going, fill the room up or fill your area up. Uh, the uh, the after smoke, I guess you want to say, uh, the, the smoke that's coming off the tip uh, as you're taking your draw is, is really pleasant. Um, so as you're taking your draw, if you're using your nose at the same time, this is really talking to you. Uh, it's not something that you have to kind of hold everything, take your draw, and then blow out, and then kind of experience the smoke afterwards. You can smoke this thing all the way through uh, and experience the whole thing. Um, and that's another uh, thing that I like about it, so. I'm trying to think what else uh, I could talk about. Um, there is a hint of sweetness in it. Um, not in flavor, I mean. I'm talking about just on the draw and as you're kind of uh, lipping the, the cap here. It's not a sweet tip, um, so they're not faking phoning in the funk, whatever you want to call it, uh, it's consistent all the way through. And so a lot of people that have reviewed this have started off uh, immediately assuming that there is a sweet tip, and uh, research, research has shown it's not. It's uh, in the filler, and uh, which is nice. And they may uh, have something going on with the wrapper that makes the whole wrapper uh, sweet, but I, I don't know what it is, but it's, it doesn't have a sweet tip. Um, but it's nice. It's not like a, it's not a gummy, uh, caramelly sweetness. It just, uh, it's just there. You'd have to, you have to try it. I 
I may have already mentioned this. Um, you can smoke this all the way down and just past the uh, uh, the band here, and it's not going to get too hot. Uh, right when it gets to the band, you're going to start noticing it warming up a little bit, uh, and then it's time to you know start looking for your drink, get into another conversation or something, or or get ready to go eat uh, because you're just about done. Um, uh, the taste and the flavor is relatively even all the way down to that. So when it's time to get rid of the cigar, it's uh, basically just because it's starting to warm up. It's not because it's starting to get pungent or, or gross or anything like that. So um, as you can see again, the, uh, the lines are staying sharp. Um, the cap, and I kind of, I know I'm all over the place here, um, as far as this is my first review and it's kind of improv, uh, the cap is, is a triple cap here, so, uh, it's not falling apart, if you know what I'm saying. Um, it stays moist, it's not sucking down into the wrapper or anything like that, uh, you can mouth this, if that's the kind of thing that you're doing, you know, sit there and, uh, and smoke with it in your, uh, you know, talk with it talk with your uh, mouthful, I guess, um, and it's not going to come apart on you or, or, or chew off or whatever. That's another reason why I don't like using a guillotine um, cutter anyways, and I, and I use that is because it's cutting into the cap only and not cutting the cap off. I think that's important when you're uh, smoking a cigar. So, um, Okay, what else, what else, what else? That's pretty much it. Box of these are going to run you about a hundred bucks, one ten or so. Um, shop around. There, uh, if you if you're local, if you go down to Fusion uh, in Pace, they're going to be more. If you go down to Cordova Cigar, uh, Cordova Cigars in Pensacola, they're um, maybe ten bucks cheaper, and you know that's a lot. So as far as uh, when you're dealing with the cases, um, that's really all I can think of right now so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this as you can see I mean I've kinda of worked on this for about 25 minutes or so I got another 10 or 15 minutes in this and it's time to get it out um, and, and that's pretty much all I need uh, as far as a cigar that I'm looking for so give it a give it a taste um, you can find them anywhere uh, I'd appreciate a response maybe uh, it, what your take on this particular cigar is if you've had it or if you're going to go out and try it, you know, tell me what you thought about it. Um, if you have, if you've had this before, and you are aware of a similar uh, cigar, and you want to let me and others know about it, you know, post a comment below. But anyways, thanks for watching. I may do uh, some more cigar reviews. I'm, I don't have very many others uh, in my little box in there. Um, so this may be the one and only one, but I hope you liked it. Uh, leave a comment below and I appreciate it. Thanks.